Hello there, it's me, Stephen Thomas, with Reports on Housing.com. The Orange County housing market has been in flux all year long. It has been consistently evolving. The year started with an incredibly low inventory and demand immediately shot up. The market was hot from February through April, but there was a shift occurring. Nearly the same number of homes were coming on the market as last year, but demand was subdued, averaging 10% less since March. Because of muted demand, the active inventory increased rapidly during the spring and summer markets. It was the fastest pace during the spring since 2008. Slowly but surely, the hot seller's market melted away into a slight seller's market. Homes were not appreciating as they had earlier in the year. Buyers were not pulling the trigger as fast. They were also not willing to pay much more than the most recent comparable sell. That leads us to today. Orange County housing is about to become a balanced market. And it's a balanced market for the first time since 2014. That's right, you're scratching your head, trying to remember 2014. But the market slowed that year as well. The culprit, higher interest rates. In 2014, interest rates were starting the year at 4.5%. What is a balanced market? It is a market that does not favor a seller or buyer. We are at equilibrium, yin and yang, complete harmony. That good old fashioned metal bound scale has been leaning heavily in favor of the sellers with very few homes in the market and tremendous demand. Yet, with more homes coming on the market and falling demand, that metal bound scale has slowly but surely been moving away from that hot seller's market to a balanced market, one that does not favor sellers or buyers. Many mistakenly think that it is either a seller's market or a buyer's market, that it has to be one or the other. That is not true. Have you ever seen a metal balance scale perfectly balanced? Voila, that is just about where we are today. More supply and less demand is balancing the scale. In taking a closer look at demand at the end of July, the numbers are staggering. Demand was 18% higher last year. The last time demand was this low dates all the way back to 2007 when the housing market completely fell apart. It is interesting to take a look at the difference in context to the mortgage interest rate at the time. Today's national average interest rate is 4.6%, the highest rate since 2011. Mortgage rates have been juicing the run up in value since 2012. With higher interest rates and a record median sales price reached in June, it is no wonder that buyers are not jumping as quickly to purchase. A warning for buyers. Buyers are not in the driver's seat. Not even close. It is not a buyer's market. The difference is that there are more choices now. The typical home is no longer flying off the market. They are finally able to approach the market methodically and at a much more relaxed pace. A warning for sellers. Accurate pricing is fundamental in order to find success. Ignore the recent headlines of a record median sales price. That does not mean that homes are continuing to appreciate today. Right now, there are a lot more homes in the market, meaning a lot more competition. Also, demand has dropped considerably, meaning fewer showings and fewer potential offers. Pricing at or close to the fair market value is the wisest formula for success. For the latest Orange County Housing Pulse, subscribe to my report. I am Stephen Thomas with ReportsOnHousing.com.